But it's nice to be able to walk onto this stage because uh, 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 this time last year I was on. I had to learn to walk again last year. I spent six months on crutches. Six months on crutches in fucking shit, right? Don't snap ligaments. It's not half as much fun as it sounds, right? And it's amazing the assumptions that posh people down south make, right? Because I was in a cast for three months and I was in a stormtrooper boot for another three months. And posh people would just walk up to me and they'd go, Skiing? <laughs> Skiing? <laughs> and then they'd hear my accent and go, Ah, she's jumped off a garage roof. <laughs> this accent doesn't ski. You're never going to be, you are never, ever going to be at the top of a snow mountain in France and hear, a pie tree grand for this, it's brilliant. Never happens, never happens. <laughs> Seriously, if my people are sliding down a snow mountain, that's not a slalom, that's a chavalanche. <laughs> but I don't have a working class chip on my shoulder. I met a posh woman recently. I don't mind posh people, right? She was incredulous. She was, you've never been skiing. You've, you've, you've never been, never been skiing, never, you've never been skiing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've been skiing from the age of four. In fact, I spent my winter childhood skiing in the Alps. That ain't normal, is it? We didn't spend our winter childhood skiing in the Alps. We spent our winter childhoods looking for the other glove. And I did that thing when I went home, right, to my parents for a while to be looked after while I was on my cruise. I said, fuck you, it was all. You can't spend that much time with your parents as an adult. You just can't, because by the end of it, all you can think is, how am I not more fucking mental? <sighs> <sighs> Are all your mum's batshit mental? <laughs> Mine is off the scale, right? And the worst bit is watching a film with my mum. It's like watching a DVD with the director's commentary switched on. <laughs> if the director didn't know who any of the actors were, <laughs> what the fucking plot was? My mom thinks that dramatic license is a physical thing that's included in a Sky TV package, so it's just this relentless noise. Is that him for his head, Kaz? She's Scottish, by the way. She's not a member of the SS. <laughs> is that him for his head, Kaz? I can't wait to go back into that burning building for certain death. Would you, George? George! <laughs> George! Would you go back into that burning building for certain death? And I can see my dad thinking, yes. <laughs> in fact, I'll probably be set fire to it. <laughs> Cover myself in kerosene and run in for a certain peaceful, quiet death. <laughs> but then she'll start to use the film as a passive, aggressive dig at me. Oh, look at her in that wedding dress. Oh, oh she looks beautiful. Oh, she looks like a princess. <laughs> She's younger than you. <laughs> At least somebody managed to get married. Mom, this is Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> My parents have been together for 56 years. Can you imagine that? 56. How do you stay with someone for 56 years without stabbing them in the fucking face? <laughs> I said to my mum, right then, what is the secret of a long and happy marriage? My mum went, communication! My, <laughs> my dad went, earplugs. Uh, <laughs> fucking 56 years, man. Fucking hell. But when I was home for that while, he reminded me when I was a bit younger and we had a dog. Do we got dog people in? Yeah, yeah. It's great having a dog in it, all that loyalty and companionship, you know, lovingly picking up its mess. <laughs> Sorry, not dog, boyfriend. I always get them really confused. <laughs> I had, had one for ages, so what I did a little while ago, I got myself a rescue boyfriend. <laughs> from, one, uh, from one of those homes for abandoned men. <laughs> you know, the ones that make a big chain, what's it called? Weatherspoons. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> 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 Ha, ha, ha.